Uh, my name is Troy Schultz. I'm a line tech for the Challenger as tractor assembly line. I've been here eight years with Agco. I build prototypes and pilots and troubleshoot problems on the line. Uh, this is the stand where the powertrain will come in bare from TBU, and that's what starts our assembly. We'll put on hitches, pumps, everything that needs to be done in the air before it goes onto our line. We call them op 20 and 30. That's where my, more hydraulics and some of the hitch work will start. And these areas around the corner you'll notice are a little bare than the rest of the line. That's where we've started implementing our kitting process and stuff, and we'll change over like the application side. So we have a supermarket for these two areas, and the, only the parts these people need for that tractor comes to them on kit carts and such as things like that. So it's more open floor space, and this will be the only part of the line you'll see that looks like this because we haven't implemented it into the rest of the line yet, but that'll happen by the end of the year in 2010. After up 20 and 30, it'll hit the turntable. That's where the tractor will turn. It'll go to the Mary station where the front rail will get assembled to it. And more pump work will get done, hosing and stuff like that. The rails come from the sideline, the sub area, get brought over and married to them. After Mary station will be the hose station. It's just past that area where you can see the guy turning the wrench. He'll put in a lot of the hydraulic lines, coolant lines that go underneath the engine. Right here is OP60, it's engine set. They'll put in the engine and the radiator after the hose station. The 7s or 8s is the 700 she's working on. Just past that is Godzilla, where they put the framework above the engine for the turbo and the cooler and, and such. Here we're at OP60, it's engine set. They put in the engine and the radiator after the hose station. Then just past that is the Godzilla set. We call it the Godzilla. It's the frame that goes over top the engine that holds the turbo and the cooler and the fan. This is Op 80 after Godzilla. They're already done with this one, but they brought the cab over and set it. And they hook up all the AC, fuel lines, test some initial functions of the cab, make sure it's working properly before it goes into startup. They'll also put the muffler on the 800s and 900s in this op too. After this, the tractor is pretty much operational and ready to go into startup. The first part of startup, the first op is fill station. They'll fill it with diesel, put the coolant in, and charge the AC. After that, it'll go to the middle or last stall. That's where it's hooked in, and all the functions are tested. Everything from hitch operation, electronics, the total running, and then they calibrate the transmission before it goes out of startup. This is a 700 after they're done running it. They're unhooking right now, but this tractor's been filled and ran and tested, every function tested, and the transmission is calibrated. After it comes out of startup, it'll get paneled. The front weights will get put on it, belly pans will get put on, uh, some extremity lights. Um, a lot of the cosmetic stuff is done after startup. The tractor was complete going into startup. Now we'll finish it off, get all the panels, uh, some interior, we'll put the floor in the cab, um, bolt all the cab, everything tightened up in the cab. Then after that, you look over here, this one's ready for a hood. They'll put the hood on it. And then it'll come down here to the lift. It'll go on the lift, it'll get raised up, and they'll put the tracks on. They have two special forklifts that go into the tracks. He's gonna pick that track up, and the tracks will go on to whatever spec they are and torque down. Then that'll drop down into a pit, and the tractor will be set on the ground. They'll drive it ahead. If there's any undercarriage weights or belly pans to tighten up after that, they'll do that then. After that, the tractor's complete and it goes out and it goes over to TNA. And that is where they do the final testing, go through every operation and make sure everything is functioning correctly. After that, it'll be blued, PDI'd, and then shipped.